Here's some notes on dosing for intravenous regional anesthesia, IVRA, also called the beer block. Some key points, you wanna use local anesthetics, usually lidocaine. You wanna avoid long-acting local anesthetics like bupivacaine because they can put the patient at risk for cardiac toxicity. Epinephrine should also be avoided because it can cause ischemia or necrosis in the limb. To do the procedure, you exsanguinate the extremity, you inflate this tourniquet, as you can see here, and you slowly inject the anesthetic into a distal vein of the extremity. Main complications are local anesthetic systemic toxicity, or LAST, if the tourniquet fails and the anesthetic uh, goes into the rest of the body. Symptoms of LAST can range from mild, like agitation and tinnitus, to severe, with seizures and cardiac arrest. Some safety guidelines, you always wanna calculate the total dose. You wanna stay below the maximum recommended threshold, and you wanna monitor for tourniquet, uh, tourniquet function. Here's some recommended dosing at the bottom. We can work through it. The concentration recommended could be 0.5 lidocaine, for instance, which would be five milligrams of lidocaine per cc, and a recommended volume would be 30 to 50 cc's. The maximum dose for lidocaine without epinephrine is sometimes cited as five milligrams per kilogram. And this is, of course, for safety in case of tourniquet failure. So take, for example, a 70 kilogram patient. That would be a maximum dose of lidocaine of 350 milligrams. At this concentration, five milligrams per cc, even at the max volume, you're only giving 250 milligrams of lidocaine, which is well under your maximum dose and putting the patient at a lower risk for a last.